h a m i l y Plus 留美路上的 GPS， 欢迎大家来到第一百四十六期的 h a m i l y Plus 微课堂。我们每周为大家带来分享，从二零一六年三月份开始，风雨无阻，从不间断。在过去一百四十五期的微课堂中，已经有名校招生官、就业指导中心负责人、留美家长及学生等等，奉献了他们的精彩分享。希望可以用这些留美的真实案例，为大家带来更多真知灼见，走出留美的误区。在这项的过程中，如果您听到我们的微课堂有什么问题，有任何的想要说的话，欢迎您私信我们的微信小助手，微信小助手会竭力回答您的疑问。谢谢您的支持。好的 ，Well, we started our hundred forty six. Uh, WeChat sharing today, and as we can see, we have two guests here to sharing a great topic with everybody here. 今天我们会请到两位嘉宾来跟我们分享一个非常好的话题。Uh, first of all, I will ask them to briefly introduce themselves a little bit to our audience.、Uh, maybe you can start, Owen.、Uh, Christina, thank you for having us. Um, my name is Owen O'Neill. I'm originally from Dublin, Ireland. I came to the States in 1992 as director of squash for the Bay Clubs. I was a former Irish international and U.S. team captain. Wow, um, Owen, 呢，他是从那个爱尔兰搬到美国来啊，二十六年，他一九九二年就这个移民到美国，作为很早的。就是 Bay Club 这里当地的一个壁球的教练，然后来到这里来啊、呃、进行训练。他自己本身呢也曾经是啊、呃、自己也打球，然后慢慢成为教练，来到这里呢，呃一步一步把这个壁球的事业做得非常大。啊、呃，下面我们欢迎啊、呃、Gareth。Thank you, I'm Chris Evans. My name is Gareth Weber. Originally from Wales,、uh, and I moved over to United States. As the associate head coach at Yale University, and that now I am a coach at、uh, Olympic Club, director of squash, and、uh, I also national U.S. team coach. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Garris. 呢，他是从威尔士来到美国。他曾经在东部耶鲁大学啊、uh, 做过。教练也是关于壁球方面的，他现在也在这边湾区的奥林匹克俱乐部执教，然后呃训练很多杰出的学生出来，他们在这方面运动方面，尤其是他们的专长壁球方面是非常有经验的。然后再回到可能很多人如果刚刚进来的话，呃，我也简单介绍一下我自己 ，Christina。贾灿，我也是不是第一次参加这个活动了。如果您听了上一期的分享，刚好呢，上一期我是嘉宾，这一期作为主持人呢，来跟大家来分享关于 sports 运动对孩子的成长以及升学的各种影响和助力。好的，我们先介绍了嘉宾以后呢，我们简单谈一谈，呃、uh, ，because they are you you are both actually immigrant here, right? You're、Correct. not here,、uh, born here like me, right? So first of all, like you came from Europe, right? Yes, Any yeah, yeah. thoughts on that? A little bit like students from Europe to to US, or you think a lot of them? Like、uh, anything you want to share with us? From、uh, from Europe, yes.、Yeah. So certainly when I was at, at、uh, coming coming from、uh, from from Wales over to to the United States,、um, it was I always like really liked the the atmosphere. And the, the hard work of the sports, how great the sport is over here, and、um, and then I was able to, I was a Yale coach, I was able to recruit players from Europe、mm -hmm. and、wow. come in.、Um, great for the great for the culture, great for the、mm -hmm. the teamwork and and having that、um, togetherness, you know,、wow. from Europe to to the United States. So.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. 刚刚呢，我请教他们说，他们是从欧洲啊，从威尔士和爱尔兰移民到了美国啊。当然，他们是为了他们喜爱的这个执教啊，这个运动事业啊。所以我们也说，刚刚 Garrett 也有跟我们分享说啊，来到这边很多啊，尤其他作为教练，也经常会带学生从欧洲来到美国。他很欣赏美国这个对呃、啊、运动的重视，尤其在学校里，让孩子们更多的接触运动，对他们的成长，还有这边呢更开。
开放的一些环境，很鼓励他们做这些事情啊、呃。所以这个呢，他们也会从欧洲带很多的学生过来，都很喜欢在这里。其实跟我们可能从中国过来留学也是有类似的，有很多不同的地方。So, uh, Alvin, you want to share a little bit your thoughts because you've been here 26 years already, right? So, yes, 26 years ago when I came, uh, students, especially from Ireland, didn't have the opportunity to come here. But now they're coming in droves and it's great to see. And uh, it's definitely a pathway to the Ivy League schools, I think. Wow. And yeah. so it's... Wow, impressive. Yeah. Um, 就是刚刚听到的呢，那个阿文他作为一个有二十六年执教经验啊，在这里送走了有很多很多批学生呢。他跟我们最大的分享就是说，呃，做这些运动，尤其是他接触这些呃会运动的孩子，非常对你们将来进入这些，尤其是常春藤学校特别好的这些学校。非常的有助力，这是他这些年的经验的积累告诉我们的。所以今天我们带来的分享，从最开始也会跟您讲一点，就是说，嗯，不光是中国的学生，全世界的学生都会想要来美国来享受这里的教育。So I was just talking about, you know, the the students from all over the world, right? Why they came to U.S. because they providing all that environment, especially for the for the kids who play sports, right? There are a lot of great supports, so they can get really great education with their uh, with their passions in sports, right? And then not only like to US, like Europe, a lot even in Australia or New Zealand and all kinds of you know locations in in in, in the world, right? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think that one of the uh, educational part is um, we talk a little bit about squash can you know especially the uh, the squash at the sports uh, maybe some of the audience not very familiar with the squash because it's kind of uh, not very old school type <laughs> so maybe some one of you can give us a little bit introduction about that sports uh, particularly I would like yes um First and foremost, squash is a great workout. Wow, yes. Um, Forbes magazine ranked it the number one sport to get fit. Wow, I need to tell the audience right now. So, uh, I would like to ask them, let them first introduce themselves. They are from this sport, the squash. Maybe many of the audience are not so familiar with it. But, first, I would like to introduce Alvin to us. Alvin has been teaching for so long. He says that it is a great sport for your health and health. Good to your health. 嗯，人他是那个，就是说，就福布斯杂志评壁球是第一 ，the number one， right？ Number one， number one， yeah. And you can lose about a thousand calories an hour playing squash. A thousand calories? A thousand calories an hour. It's a phenomenal. Wow. It's a phenomenal workout. Mm -hmm. It's um, squash also helps you alleviate stress. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a hard day at work or something. And hitting a ball against the wall just it sort of relaxes you. Mm, nice. Yeah. It helps yeah. with um, coordination mm. and balance. Like hand eye coordination. Uh, hand -eye coordination, yeah. correct. And balance. Yeah. 他刚刚有提到啊，他之所以评第一，他是有数据的。就是说，你打壁球一个小时，你可以消耗到一千个卡路里。所以，如果真的有过去游泳、hiking 或者任何体育运动的人们，你可以看一下啊，你一天真的一千个卡路里非常非常多了。而且，它壁球这种运动，你是对着墙壁打，然后你你可以减轻压力。现在现代人那个生活都很高的 stress 嘛，压力很高，所以这种运动也帮助你减轻压力。另外呢，它这种运动当然啦，是有手眼协调和你整个全身的平衡。能能力的训练都非常好，所以它总的来说，即使你不把它作为一项专长，它也是一个很好的运动。So I would just give a little bit conclusion. You don't have to be professional, but that's a very good workout you can do anytime, any age. And finally, I suppose it it helps with concentration, but more importantly, I think social skills. Wow. You get to meet people. Mm-hmm. And that's a uh, builds strength in itself. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 他刚才也分享说，还有一个很重要的，他们看重的就是任何的运动都会帮助你一些社交的能力。你可以碰到更多的人，然后也可以提高你的这个社交，或者是用这些呃体育特长去交朋友，这是一个非常好的事情。So that sounds great. I recall when I was in England, 
I started, that was a long time ago, so I don't want to reveal my age, uh -huh. but that time was the first time I started play squash in the gym, like at the university when I was doing my master's. Yeah, I, I, I really love it because it can be really flexible. You can mm -hmm. play by your own, you can go with friends, yeah, you can play any no weather, any weather right? There's no weather the conditions yes. affect yes. it. Um, it's not, there's no contact, or mm -hmm. not meant to be contact. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that has you know, great benefits mm -hmm. to play and, and brings in teamwork, leadership, mm -hmm. um, and overall, as Owen said, overall character yes. on and off the court. And it's, it's quite hard to believe um, there's 1.6 million squash players in the United States. 1.6? Wow. It's quite staggering. Wow. And 20 million worldwide. Mm. Wow. So the great thing is you can pick up a racket and play, you can play all around the around the mm -hmm. world. You can go and of our members at Olympic Club will go to reciprocal clubs and take their squash racket and get a get a game, you know, go to Shanghai or go to Hong Kong wow. or London and mm -hmm. get a game. Nice. But don't yeah. don't forget Dublin. And don't forget Dublin. Dublin. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't forget, forget the area right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 很多年前我第一次接触带给你很强的社交刚刚有一个数据说 so it's kind of a little still newer uh, sports yes, so yeah, yeah, that's why I was like it's very rapidly growing right so the whole world is kind of like a, a lot more people start doing it so that's why we talk about, you know, uh, talk about thinking about the kids, you know, uh, links to the school, like you mentioned, the Ivy League schools. Mm -hmm. So why particularly squash is more like interesting or uh, a fact? Well, squash, uh, the, the reason, reason for squash, A, that it's um, non-contact non squash. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it small teams. If you're looking at the, a lot of these uh, college teams, they they have to have lots of lots of players. They're looking at a football yes. team. We have it's nine at play, oh. nine, nine mm -hmm. players. So you know, fuck, really need five matches to win. So you're looking at the, these big schools with twenty five thousand students in. We can get you know five five good players in. Mm -hmm. um, Men and women, so it's really you know, the great, great opportunity to be able to. You know, it's a small pool, and you know we've had we've had a lot of players the last ten years, certainly from the Bay Area, that we've helped get into these top schools, you know, the Ivy League schools, um, and see from my personal experience from Yale recruiting in, recruited from all around the world, mm -hmm. um, from Europe and, and mm -hmm. from Singapore. Um, and it, it brings in that, the, uh, the, the team element and balancing with the, the academics. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, uh, it, it's certainly it's growing all the time. You're looking at the schools now, uh, UVA now got a really big program and they're gonna be forced to be reckoned with. You've got, uh, uh, Drexel, then the Nano Scholarship Schools um, that are coming in in St. Lawrence, and so wow. there's also the, the, the small, small Ivy League schools in a way. Yes. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. that are, so yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's. Uh, I wish I was <laughs> 20 years ago. It was like now because I would definitely would love to come to a, a school and, and play squash. Right, Owen? Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. <laughs> nice. And in fact, we have one great student or player from the Bay Area that Gareth coached and he got into Princeton. Oh Princeton. And, wow. Uh, so very recently? Very recently. Two wow. year two, two years, years ago, ago actually. And he was actually a very good tennis player. 
Wow. But he felt squash was the the path. The passion or uh, the yeah, passion, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're extremely proud of him. Yeah. Wow. His, uh, nice. his name is Gabriel Morgan. So yeah. He's, yeah, and he's now a junior yeah. at Princeton. Captain. Captain. Captain, Captain, Captain yeah. as well. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So we take great pride, especially Gareth should take great pride oh, in sort of. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, look, I would like Princeton. to share with the audience a mm-hmm. little yeah, bit. Sure. 就是刚才Gareth给我们讲了一下 他的场地也比较容易，所以相对大的这些学校，现在都有他们的壁球队。通常你想，他举例说，比如说你两万多人的一个学校，你只需要选五个很好的，呃，不管男孩子、女孩子，他们可以组成一个队伍，他就是可以
and it doesn't matter that if you don't have the talent of being a top five player or a top nine player, they can just bring in. I've heard, I had so many examples of mm -hmm. great kids that came in, and they, were, they have to have the grades, the academic rigor to come go through, but they also showed so much passion, as mm -hmm. Owen said. And, and became great leaders, and that's just awesome to see. When you see when you see that happen, there's there's kids that come get recruited, come in, they walk in, and then they're making a difference to the team. And they're not they don't have that they don't have the talent as much as number one, but it's, great. it's so lovely to see, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've been seeing many kids when you were in Yale, right? For a couple of years, you'll see a lot of kids actually benefit a lot when you know playing just being sports. Just in that, yeah, being in that environment. Mm -hmm. And then they they, they just grow in, and then they coming out, and then they becoming leaders, and then and then they're bringing so much to the team. Wow! And that's what it's about. Yeah. Yes, that sounds great. And it, um, it also builds strength and leadership outside yes, the classroom. Yeah. yeah. Leadership. And those are yeah. important things. Mm -hmm. But it's a character builder as well. I know. Yeah. Exactly. 刚刚呢，我们讲到说。呃，尤其是在耶鲁执教几年的 Garys， 他跟我们分享说，他看到那么多孩子啊，在这些做运动的时候，他们就是通过，比如说一到十五这么多场的比赛，在团队协作各种情况下，这个给孩子们带来的这些呃，就是呃各种的锻炼。甚至包括你的这些领导能力，将来甚至这个像 a a 补补充的这些，啊、嗯，你除了领导力以外，更多的还有这种呃团队协作能力，然后很多这种呃这些软实力，我们经常通过说软实力的东西，通过运动啊、呃，他们体现出的热情和他们跟人的交往。对孩子的影响是非常非常大的，有很多很多的好处的。我觉得这个可能家长们很多程度上都会或多或少的同意，所以我们现在都非常重视，啊、呃，从 body to mind， you know， and then， 所以我们就会觉得说，从身心健康去培养孩子，然后培养各种软实力，所以运动是一个非常好的切入点。So I would just、uh, conclude a little bit because I just seen a sports is a very good. Way of building, uh, you know, um, leadership, character, all the soft skills, and then the the kids' needs, right, later on in life. So now, no doubts, you know, they should try something, right? And then the question now is, uh, what's the process to start? So the process is uh, simple. Going to a club, going to a co coach, um, playing from. I mean, I have five year olds to play up to mm -hmm. ten, and. Then, I mean, firm believer. We have a lot of the same beliefs that playing other sports is is great. I mean, I used to mm -hmm. play, I used to play rugby and tennis, and then I my sister got me involved in squash, um, and obviously the rest is is history. In the、mm -hmm. in the area, we have bay clubs.、Uh, Jonathan Perry、um, have squash zone in Redwood City.、Um, The Bay Clubs, Redwood Shores. Bay Clubs, Redwood Shores. Bay Clubs in San Francisco, and I'm at the Olympic Club now. We have a, a good, strong program too. So there's accessibility for for juniors and 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 parents、um, and adults.、Uh, and I had a great story last week. There was a boy, a father and boy from India,、mm -hmm. uh, who were members of the Olympic Club, and he played basketball. And the father came in, and now they're hooked. They, 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 they're constantly they're writing the program,、mm -hmm. and he's he's ten years old, and be fair, he's got he's got potential. But even if he doesn't go further, the the key is enjoying it, having the fun. And, yes. Yeah. It actually is, and I'll interject there, Gareth. Yeah. But most importantly, it's the fun. But they'll have everlasting friendships. Yep. Nice. Yeah. From being in the club. It's a bonding when you're playing it, it, together. Exactly, it's a bonding.、Mm -hmm. Whether they go to Princeton or somewhere else. The friendship is the most important thing. I know. Yeah, we just talked about how to start. Then Gareth just said that he gave a simple introduction to the area. There are so many clubs in this area. You can go to the neighborhood. You can also find a coach. 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 You
那个经常打篮球，然后后来发现了，哎，有壁球这个运动，他们就去尝试，然后一旦尝试就喜欢上了。很多时候，我想可能第一步就是你要去去 try 去试，然后呢，你才知道你最喜欢。他们常常谈的一个词就是 passion， 你最喜欢的是什么？你的热爱在哪里？如果他说，即使你将来不能把它作为一项。呃，专长或者怎么样，你支持是闲暇时间去去玩一下，也是一个很好的交朋友。就像 Ar Arwen 刚才讲说，啊、呃，他是一个很好的让你去交多少多少年，像他们是 your like friendship for long long time, right? Twenty years, yeah, for, for a long time. 他们也是通过壁球来认识的，然后有二十几年的这种友情，这都是通过你去做同样事情来交到朋友，甚至包括。呃，就像父子这样子的这种增进关系啊，这种 bonding， 我们讲说人和人之间的这种联系，可以通过这个运动把你联系起来，这是非常好的。啊、uh, ，那 let's back to the you know the kids part because we are like educator right? So if they wanna really play, if they have check the kids whether they have the you know they love it or ability to play, so what age normally uh start will be more ideal for them? Ten years, ten years old. Ten years old. Ten years. We I've had examples of kids getting into schools、mm -hmm. uh, right now. The last couple of years have started、yes. fourteen,、mm -hmm. um, sort of late developers, and it's still possible.、Mm -hmm. um, we've had a few kids go to、yeah. uh, good private schools with that,、mm -hmm. um, but it's a little. Is a little bit tougher. Yeah, you have to really be build up, especially yeah, with the yeah. academic.、Um, oh, as you know, yes, the academic demand. You know,、mm -hmm. six days. I mean, you have to play six days a week. You know, with coach doing the academies,、oh, wow. um, you you go into、uh, traveling to tournaments.、Mm -hmm. So the tournament and a lot of the tournaments we get in a lot better now in the Bay Area,、mm -hmm. where in the West Coast we run、um, having a lot more tournaments. We、yes. have a big JCT tournament next weekend. Um, but you have to travel over to the to the east coast, where、yes. all of the because most of the market is the squash players are、mm -hmm. out there. But we built, we've we've definitely grown last fifty percent the、wow. last say seven years.、Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's it, it's going going in. The, there's accessibility.、Yeah. Cupertino and Malhazane is. There's、uh, Richard Elliott and Ashlyn Blake have opened up a, a club in Squash Zone, which is great. So it, it's definitely growing,、um, and you know we can give information on where to go. And from there,、mm -hmm. it's、uh, obviously we know Owen and I know、uh, coaches all around the world as well.、Um, it's a small it's a small world, and we can give accessibility to coaches overseas too, and then and then. From the the Yale days and the connections, we've got over twenty kids into school. Help get twenty kids into schools.、Wow. Mm -hmm. So I know all the coaches. So we、mm -hmm. we know we have the connections. Yeah, we、so. actually do have the connections. But don't forget, it will take a lot of dedication. Yes, yes. exactly.、Uh, mm -hmm. Academically,、mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But also, it will take five times a week to play a bit of squash as well to get up to. Yeah, to, to that certain up, up level, yeah.、Mm -hmm. But probably the most important thing, and I think Gareth, you alluded to it earlier, they have to be the right fit for the school. Yes. And the right match.、Exactly. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's、yeah. a key thing, and that's that comes down to to us saying、mm -hmm. us because I I was a a Yale coach、mm -hmm. is also in that recruiting, and from our end, Owen is is knowing. Okay, is that. We speak to the, the coaches、yes. mm -hmm. and how they how they would work and connect with the the player because it's really important. Obviously, the grades, the rigorous academic that they're getting, the balance between the the squash training and and they've got to be able to be happy. They've got to,、yeah. Must be happy within the environment there. So absolutely, as Owen said, the the fit is the number one thing. Sure. Yeah. That's yeah. always. 啊，刚刚我们在讨论了一下啊，他就讲说，呃，像这些东部的学校，现在目前来讲，在美国还是东部的这个氛围比较足，尤其是在壁球方面呢，这边也在发展，但是发展很快，可能就比如说每年百分之五十的增长，但是相对而言比较年轻。
，所以呢，他曾经有送大概二十个学生啊、呃、进到耶鲁各种不同的 program。当然，他们也有强调说，呃，这些升学呢，这就是说，运动只是一方面，只是学从学习成绩也好，各方面也好，就是总和而言，你是跟这个学校是比较搭配的。所以从这个角度来讲，他会建议说，如果子从十岁左右开始接触，然后一点一点坚持训练下来，可能对你将来的大学最有帮助。但是，当然，最后每个人都是各不一样的，有也有孩子从十四岁才开始。啊，打壁球将来也也做得非常好，也能够进入这些运动队。但是他们总的强调就是说，还是要孩子喜欢做得好，这是一个他可以加分的项目。当然，他的基本项目还是要有的，尤其是这些比较好的学校，这些基本的项目都是一定要有的。但是我们可以给你提供，就是更多不同方向的。加分项目，您可以看看怎么样帮孩子能够更好的做一个规划，找到他最适合的、最喜欢的。而且从刚才讲，从性格、从整个体育运动角度来讲，如果他把这个作为他一生的呃这个爱好的话，整个对他整个性格养成和他的社交，甚至将来他的这些运动习惯都是非常有帮助的。So we just talk about, you know,、uh, they started, and also because we have audience from all over the world, not only local or in U.S.、Uh, do you know, and you know, where can you find around the world, like、um, Asia or any different places? They do providing the squash clubs too, right? Oh yes, we have the we have connections、um, in Shanghai, Hong Kong, especially. Hong Kong?、Mm -hmm. um, And Hong Kong, Shanghai, Shanghai yeah, Beijing, Shanghai.、Um, Australasia. Yeah. Oh, Australia, like New Zealand. Oh, Australia, yeah, yeah. New Zealand.、Um, yeah, Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. Yeah. And everywhere、Malaysia. in the UK. Oh, Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. And Ireland. And Ireland. Yeah. And Ireland, yeah. And Ireland, of course. 刚刚我们提到很多不同的地方 ，Yeah。从欧洲到亚洲，当然我们很多观众可能是，比如说在国内，他们跟香港，他们也有很多的这个联系，因为这是一个呃，这是一个社群嘛，大家都打球，然后他们跟香港、北京、上海、新加坡、新西兰，甚至包括马来西亚这些国家，都越来越多的人喜欢打做这种运动，所以它是一个非常发展快的新兴运动，嗯。Back to uh, you know, uh, we talk about the good fit, right? So from the coach point of view, who will be the good fit for the sports like itself? <laughs> well, you're looking for um, hard hard workers,、mm -hmm. people that are not thinking about themselves. Themselves,、mm -hmm. it's got to be team team players,、mm -hmm. um, be able to like, social. So in a way, it's holistic. View、yes. of it is like you go in, going in, you look, look interviewing. You might be great、oh. academics,、mm -hmm. but and great with the books. But you got to be able to be approachable. You got to be able to communicate、mm -hmm. those those skills. Team players, coachable. Team, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 coachable. And I think the, the great thing about being in that environment as a junior from nine years old. I mean, I'm very fortunate that squash club was across the road from my house,、oh, yeah. and that was my upbringing. That was、wow. my social. So I had older peers who were able to you know, teach me、mm -hmm. squash、like、and no skills. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and I think you, likewise, you were just similar. Right? Well, absolutely the same thing growing up in Ireland as well. It's just、um, it kind of, as I alluded to earlier, it it, it builds character, but they've got to be a team player. Yeah,、yes. and that's the most important thing.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 我们刚刚那个 Gareth 从教教练的角度来讲说。我问他讲说谁非常哪一类人比较适合这项运动？他说其实第一个可能要素就是说你你要有团队协作，然后他也会看那个他们会有时候会简短的 interview， 就跟您聊一聊，看这个。当然作为孩子来讲说，看他那个呃会不会就是说可以这个 working hard， 就是很努力的去练习，因为任何的这些运动都是帮助你养成你的性格习惯。但是呢，你要能够跟教练、跟 coach work together， 然后 working hard， right？ 要要跟教练一起合作，然后跟团队一起合作，然后很努力的去练习。所以这些呢，都会养成这个孩子如果做这项运动的话，通过这些会养成很多很好的社交和呃团队合作，尤其是作为呃
长期的教练，他们非常看重的这一点就是团队合作和将来孩子这些领导力的培养都都很适合。所以其实总的来讲 ，everyone can try it, right? Especially if you like to、uh, do it as a workout. And then for the kids, of course, let them try, it, and then that will be,、uh, you know, from the beginning. And then just try it. Then if you decided to give it a try, then how to get involved? Just find a club or find a coach. Yes,、yeah, so、we have.、Um, so in Bay Area, we have、mm-hmm. a, a lot of clubs. We have the Bay Club、um, mm-hmm. here, in Santa Clara,、um, in Redwood Shores, and then the, the city,、mm-hmm. and then the Olympic clubs.、So、we have. Uh, eight eight places where you really can play.、Wow. Have great programs,、um, and we have, I mean we have over a thousand kids playing、mm-hmm. playing the sport in in the Bay Area now, which has grown.、Um, so there's accessibility. Yeah, just come come along and and,、mm-hmm. and try it out.、Mm-hmm. Um, wow. And we can obviously keep it. I'm at the Olympic Club, so if anyone's in the city、um, and wants to come and play, please you know contact、wow. me. I'd、yeah. love to have you. I definitely wants more information. You know,、yeah. I I love to take my almost ten years old there, and, and also maybe I should try yeah, pick yeah. it up again, right? I'd like to say something.、Um, actually,、mm-hmm. to showcase squash, actually next week in New York City, the Grand Central Station,、oh. they have a glass court, so、mm-hmm. people can come and see the top professionals play in the world,、oh. and they also do it here、uh, by the ferry building. Yeah. Oh, in, ferry building in, in San Francisco, and it, right? And it's outdoors, and it's fantastic、mm-hmm. to see, and. Shanghai now has one of the biggest squash tournaments in the world. Wow!、Um, in September, they have a glass court in the Peninsula Hotel. Oh, this coming September. This coming September. Yeah. yeah. So will you be there? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, maybe. Not maybe. Sure, but、yeah. it's if. But it's a big one. Yeah. And yeah. if people want to go and see it, it's, it's、mm-hmm. fantastic to watch. Wow! Nice. Yeah. yeah. 刚刚他们有讲说，其实，呃，在先先说我们在 Bay Area Local 湾区这里，他们有八家不同的俱乐部，具体的信息我们一会儿小助手会放出来。如果您有兴趣的话，可以跟我们联系。呃，在这里呢，就是说你去先试验一下，比如说他们从从北到南有很多不同的这些位置。刚刚呢，那个奥文教练也跟我们提说，现在呢，如果你想。更多的了解壁球这项运动呢，它比如说东部马上有一些 showcase， 就是它很专业的人，然后有一些这个表演，马上有就表演性的这种呃运动会会有出有会有这种场次出来，然后他们马上在旧金山也会有这样的 showcase， 然后在上海。现在其实壁球运动也很不错。如果您是刚好在上海的朋友，您可以去查一下。他说今年九月份也会有一个很大的比赛在上海举行，尤其很多国内的，像北京、上海这些大城市都会有很多很多的这些教练的资源。当然，他们也有他们的联系。如果您想要通过我们咨询的话，也请给小助手留言，我们也会给您提供一些具体的这些信息。所以把您的问题或者有任何具体的要求，可以发在我们的微信群里。So just let them know if they want to know any information about any location or any club, they can ask in the in the WeChat group, right? And also back to here, like、um, any suggestion, what you you know what you need to know once you're getting started already. So, so once it once getting started is obviously. To be recruited into、mm-hmm. the school, yeah, into or the group, into or the like the like, especially I'm talking about the the kids, right? Because they they have a lots of like you mentioned academics and other things, and then when they started trying to you know after tryout, they like we like to start. So any suggestion? Yeah, well, cer- certainly, again, as Owen said, being a being a team、mm-hmm. player, being a team player,、yeah. um, you you then. You know, with your with your coach is like bonding bonding with them、mm-hmm. and and then getting connected with you know with a club and and from there is、uh, contacting college coaches.、Mm-hmm. Um, you certainly want to have like your your grades in、yes. in place. Your academics is where、mm-hmm. you you、so、come into. So the coach <laughs>、yeah. will help them reaching out. Well, it's important well. if you want. Yeah, if you. The coaches, the club coaches, will help out. I mean, obviously,、mm-hmm. Owen and myself, I, we do that. We、yes. can help them connect with like the college coaches and at the tournaments. So they're playing playing the tournaments and 
and a lot of the college coaches will be there. So it, it's important to be um, organised, communicating, have all your grades in place because they, we will ask the college coach will ask, okay, what are your what are your grades, um, and then uh, from from there, it's from from that that process is is looking at the right the right fits. Is this the right fit for? For me and for the coach, and how yeah. and building a relationship with the sure. coach. Yeah, that's yeah. actually the most important thing. The relationship yeah. with the coach. And the sort of, relationship, yeah. right? Yeah. 刚刚他们讲说，呃，我有问他们，如果一旦开始，会给孩子们什么建议啊？怎么样开始？呃，刚才 Gers 讲，从教练的角度来讲，就是呃，跟教练要怎么样呃一起工作，一起帮你来做，尤其是对这些啊、呃、想要。申请就是去大学的孩子们怎么样？他可以帮你啊、呃、联系到具体的适合你的这些大学的教练，然后帮你完成这个过渡。然后当然你的学业啊和其他的东西也要有，就是他要有一个，就是该有的这些学业啊，该这些他也会帮你一起呃跟这个就是 college 里的这些 coach。然后建立良好的联系，帮你完成过渡，找到最适合你的学校、最适合你的 coach、最适合你可以继续呃把这项运动做下去的这个呃进入大学以后还可以继续做下去。然后呢，刚刚我们也讲说，这个所有的这些综合起来呢，他告诉我们一件事情呢，呃，刚刚他也有提到说，这些训练往往去了大学以后，你要训练一周，可能五天甚至六天，然后还要。团队协作去训练，所以其实还是非常花时间的。任何的一项这项的运动都要坚持做下去的话，是日积月累，就需要花很多的时间。So I was talking about, you know,、uh, you mentioned before、uh, earlier, like、um, all this、uh, sports, you need to play like five, six times a, a week, right? Yeah. And then, so that's a lot of time, right? You need to put into it. Yeah, you have to. Really want to do it, yeah. Yes,、And、you have to have a passion. Yeah, 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 yeah. For that next stage, yeah. Yeah. So they just talk about so you really need to work hard to train. So you need to say if your child is really like it, really enjoys it, like we can take a ball and play for a half an hour and it's over. So this is very suitable for you. Another thing we can talk about is that we are talking about. I was just talking about, you know,、uh, if you spend so much time on the sports. So, any suggestion on the time management? How they normally balance their、uh, sports training and their study time, or anything else? Yeah,、uh, certainly.、Uh, it, it is. It is all about balance.、Mm -hmm. um, and so, the academics really got to come first because that. Good balance, the,、uh, the the training and the school. But you find, yeah, you have to you have to make some sacrifices. But that that's the sacrifice you make doing something,、mm -hmm. so something that you really have a passion for and、yes. you love doing.、Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Gabriel made many sacrifices.、Mm -hmm. um, many other players and、mm -hmm. myself and Owen did. There was there was you know, times、yes. where you like to do. Like to have gone to a social gathering, but no, you're going to go and play a, to a, a tournament or your practice,、yeah. or you have to go and do the, ac、mm -hmm. and do the academics.、Um, I think it's important as coaches that we tell the kids this, and if they really want to go to a top school, a top Ivy League school,、mm -hmm. they got to be dedicated. Yes,、yeah. exactly. And that's all about time management and study is first and foremost, as Gareth、mm -hmm. said, but also squash in itself. They've got to work on that. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So they need time to build up everything, right? So I think one thing actually, scorch can、uh, scorch can actually bring back to them is like they have to be persistency on、um, doing、mm -hmm. things. That's generally all sports kind of、uh, encourage people、And、to keep、yeah. doing it. The great thing is it's teaching you skills that you don't need、mm -hmm. when you go in the outside world. When when you're going into a real a job from that, it's teaching you because you need time management. You don't want to be Late for a meeting、yes. or a board、yeah. meeting,、yeah. um, so it's a character it's builder. Character, yeah, character、yes. builder, yeah.、Mm -hmm. But yeah. the most important thing is, and I can't overstress it, they shouldn't be forced into it. They should enjoy it. Yes, and that's、yeah. the most important thing. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. 
Yeah, that's back to what our topic is. You should fight your own fits, right? Yeah. Everybody has something building, and you just need to discover it. And then, if you once you fight your passion, it happens to be squash, and then do it, right? And then it's a great choice. 刚刚我们有讲说，从这个呃训练这个壁球也是需要非常多的时间的。任何的体育运动，你都需要时间去学习。当然，它能带给你很多很多的你的性格养成，你的这些软实力的养成。但是，确实是像他们说的，第一，学业还是第一的。作为学生，你的本业永远是学习。当然，你作为安排学习和运动来讲呢。如果你有这些训练，然后有教练跟你一起呃努力的话，他会更好的说，呃，用有限的时间去学习，用哪些时间去训练，人都总要有些取舍，你不可能说天天 party 你就什么都有了，所以还是该训练训练，该学习学习。当然，他们说这些所有的基础还是说，真的孩子喜欢，他很喜欢这项运动，他不会觉得这是。这是呃，这对他来讲是非常非常 enjoy 的，就是他很很享受这个过程。在同样这个过程中，他又学到了如何塑造性格，然后如何这个呃，通过这个争取到他的机会，有更好的学习机会和更好的锻炼机会。所以呢，呃，其实这些都是不冲突的，就好像我们 Harmony Plus 的这些呃理念，永远都是说找到适合孩子自己的，找到最适合您家里对孩子教育的一个规划。所以就像我们说的个性化的东西，我们经通常跟您介绍的这些也是说，呃，给您一个新的 information， 新的环境，看看这个是不是真的适合您的孩子。如果适合的话，那就是 Go for it。就就去，如果真的觉得这个很很喜欢，很适合，这绝对是一个很好的机会。So、uh, we talk about a lot, and then already、um, most of the time already、um, passed by pretty,、uh, pretty fast. And now we actually、uh, wanna answer a little bit questions, and then we got from the audience. And the very first one, you know, was、um, why U.S. college cares a So much about you know、uh, kids doing sports. It's well, the big thing is yeah. yeah. I, well, the big the big thing is that U.S. U.S. and the whole of sport really relies really relies on on sports as you know, for the economy. Yes.、Um, mm -hmm. And then that really don't filters through to the to the colleges.、Mm -hmm. um, and they they look at it as a, a really good. Good advertising for the school. Commercial. If you give an example. If you're looking at a Trinity Trinity College, small、mm -hmm. Division Three school, they used、um, Trinity. Trinity. They have twelve years. They they won the men's squash. They、oh, run under Paul Asinante.、Wow. They they so they used that sport. They used squash. And the Division Squash. So kind of bring branding yeah, yeah, their school. Yeah, yeah. To brand to、yeah. brand the school.、Um, and. And, and then more and more schools now are looking at that. And if you, if you look at it, it's for a sport like squash. It's fairly small. As I said earlier on, it's like nine nine players. So five five if you're getting in like three three a year. It's like two two players could help you help you win. You know to recruit in. So the the pool is small. So. It, it definitely builds the profile of of the college,、yes. and、mm -hmm. I think physical exercise、mm -hmm. yes. reduces stress and makes a happier、mm -hmm. student. And that's、oh, why definitely, yeah. yeah. And that's why、mm -hmm. colleges like encourage and, people to do sports. And、uh, <coughs> no, speaking to Kenny Chan, who I,、mm -hmm. I recruited to Yale, and he he's now a member of Olympic Club, and, and he says it,、uh, it's very much over here. In the states, it's it's looking at from from the start using the college college system to brand brand you、mm -hmm. as a whole as a person to go out to that holistic like、uh, approach.、Um, you know, be able to interview well, be able to like present yourself well,、um, and and I think that's why the, the college is really. The college, the U.S. schools really、mm -hmm. value that, and,、yeah. it, and you have so much friendships from that, and and loyalty, and that's、mm -hmm. why people. But and then they'll put money back in, 
they yes, yes. Into Even the, like, the uh, alumni, yes. then the alumni, the alumni connection and the network is mm -hmm. huge, isn't it? This is how it works, yeah. It really is. And it can show your leadership outside the classroom as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what the college is That's all ending together, so how it is, right? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, in the UK, I mean, I played college sport in the UK, in Cardiff, and it was, it was brilliant. I had brilliant times and we were successful. Um, but the, the, the difference, the difference is it was more social. I mean, I was playing semi-professionally at the time, mm -hmm. but it was a lot more social with here, yeah. it's like it, it's an institution, it's you're like, a, yeah. together as a team, you're traveling mm -hmm. to different, it's a lot more serious, yeah. you know, in a good in a good way, it really builds you. Yeah. Sure, yeah, of course. 刚刚呢,我们问了一个之前收集来的问题啊,就是有家长很关心,就是说为什么,尤其是美国的学校,非常就是在乎学生有这些运动的特长。特别是这个运动方面的刚才呢从他们作为教练的角度来讲尤其是曾经在这些学校执教的这些经历来讲呢首先他认为是美国大学的这个体系设置所有美国的大学就是从他经济的角度来讲他需要有自己的牌子说白
So okay. should I sit this way? Like if you're going to the big tournament and all those things, doesn't matter, you know, what places you play, but as long as you get connecting to the coach and then they think Absolutely. you are the good fit for their school or team, you will get the big chance and, to, another, to match up. Yeah. Another, yeah, yes, problem. but you have to be of a certain standard. Yes. Certain standard. So there's a minimum, like you have Correct. to be national, 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 national yeah. ranks just national to, yeah, ranks. to the, take the next step forward. And for a so coach. So like for like national, 10 or 20 or not really? It depends, it depends, it depends which school you're going to have. Ivy's right now, um, top 10 mm -hmm. in, the, in the country. Mm -hmm. Look at even some of the top five, but really top 10. And then, but we've got kids in from 50 yes. into found a good path into a good yes. school. Yeah. Um, Another, I think another they, they great, still look yeah. at the overall that kids yeah. feel. And another great right. way that we, we haven't mentioned is obviously it's coming up is summer camps. Summer, summer camps, camps, another great way that you go to these camps in your sophomore year. Mm -hmm. um, once you're you really yes. click, th th this is for, as I would say, kind of like for, this is for serious yeah. players that are really uh, in the rankings. And then you go to the camp, you might go to a brown yes. camp, mm -hmm. and then you connect with Stuart Legassi yes. there, the mm -hmm. coach, and build a relationship. So that's that's another important thing to be to okay. be sociable. Great, with. yeah. And yeah. Before, yeah. Before I forget it, the top 25 colleges in the US have squash courts. Yeah. Okay, all of them? All of them. Okay, yeah. 我来解释一下刚刚讲体育特长生说白了就是去跟挑人嘛这些孩子们如果在有好的成绩在跟这些教练有好的这些match然后他们就会有更多的机会作为体育特长生被进入到这个大学的队伍里面刚刚阿文有提到说全美前二十五名的很好的大学全
呃，所以呢，下面我们邀请赵老师给这两位呃很好的教练做一个聘书。好，那么在过去的这些年以来，这两位、呃、优秀的 coach 已经把呃非常多的学生送进到了哈佛、耶鲁、斯坦福等等这样子的名校，希望您的孩子也可以是下一个。对。对